Hi, I got an email from fellow video blogger Mads from the YouTube channel EC Projects. And if you haven't seen his uh, channel, I'll link it in down below. Check it out. Anyway, he emailed me with a uh, problem that he found, and he posted a video on this, which I'll also link in as well. Uh, he found a, a quite a serious problem in his uh, Rigol uh, 1104Z. And, well, I've got the same one, essentially the same one, the DS1054Z uh, here. So I thought we'd reproduce the problem. Now, rather than uh, try and explain it all, I'll just do it and see if I can reproduce it on mine. So what I've got here is just a function generate, generate in a square wave, 5 volt peak to peak, whatever, at uh, 20 megahertz, and I'm feeding that into our scope, and uh, no problems whatsoever. I mean, it's exactly what you'd expect. You know, it's, it's not terminated properly, doesn't matter. But there's no jitter in that signal whatsoever. I'm sure everyone can agree on that, and I've got no, uh, nothing uh, turned on, I've got no high resonant mode, no, no averaging, no nothing. So that's a very clean signal, it's triggered perfectly fine, everything's hunky-dory. And our trigger point is right in the middle there, and that's going to matter, I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, we've got our uh, hardware frequency counter there, 20 megahertz, no problem, with no delay whatsoever, because our trigger point's in the middle. Now, if I take that right out like this, and I adjust my horizontal and move my trigger point in this direction, and if we move it over by precisely 5 microseconds, and then we zoom in again, oh, wrong control, Dull. So the trigger point is now way off uh, to that side, five, so it's now, we're displaying the waveform 5 microseconds after that trigger point. Look at this, we're getting a little bit of jitter here, and that's yeah, not too bad at all, uh, but it is there. You can see that there's some jitter there. Now this isn't nearly as bad as the one that uh, Mad saw on his one. It's, I'll show you a uh, shot of that and look, it is absolutely shocking, right? And that's what he got with the exact same conditions on his 1104Z. Okay, so we've seen that. Now watch this. We'll go out even further, we'll go, we'll double that time period to 10 microseconds. There it is, and we'll go right in, bingo, the jitter's gone. And you might be able to see where I'm going here. Let's move this trigger point even further over to, you guessed it, 15 microseconds. We're going to be precise here, there we go, 15.000 microseconds. Ah, hit the bloody vertical control again, twit. Look, our jitter is back. And what do you think it's going to do at 20 microseconds? Well, let's find out. I think you've already guessed it. Bingo, it's vanished. Look at that, where still our signal is just fine. And of course, we could, like, you know, scroll this thing right through and we'd eventually uh, get there, but it's easier just to zoom out like this. And if we go up to 25 microseconds, you guessed it. The jitter's back, and we can keep on going and going and going, and it alternates in those five microsecond time periods between jitter and not jitter. But as I said, mine isn't, so it's kind of confirmed, right? I've confirmed it on mine that there is some jitter there, but it's not nearly as bad as Mads has seen, and he seems to think, based on some of his uh, viewers have been reporting in, that, uh, yeah, it seems to possibly maybe after a certain manufacturing date some units do it really bad and mines might be an early unit or something and doesn't do it nearly as bad but it's there And for those playing along at home, I'm running software version 4.01.sp2 uh, and I'm running uh, hardware version 1.1. Uh, and if I jump back from 25 microseconds right back to zero, watch, it'll just vanish. Look at that. Gonski. And just to see if it's some sort of, you know, a beat thing against, uh, like, the input frequency versus the uh, input sampling clock, which it shouldn't be because, like, it's got nothing to do with the period. It's all to do with the, uh, you know, the transition uh, time of this thing. But anyway, just for kicks, I set it to 1.21 megahertz here. And yes, I've delayed it by five microseconds. And you can see that we are getting some jitter there. Look at that. Here we go and I'll instantly switch it right back to zero. There we go, look. 
And there you go, it uh, practically 10 microseconds have just moved it so you can see it a bit, no problems whatsoever. But you guessed it, at around about 15 microseconds, it's back. And I've now got an 11.1 .1 megahertz signal just for kicks, 5 microseconds out. Look at that jitter, I'll reset that back to zero, no problems whatsoever. And at 10 microseconds, yep, basically nothing there. Back to 5 microseconds again, there it is, I'll switch it back to zero. So that is weird, there's something happening, it's like there's like some frequency modulation jitter thing happening at those 5 microsecond uh, time uh, intervals like that. It just alternates jitter, no jitter, jitter, no jitter. So it's like there's, you know, it's got to be, so, it's not the external signal, okay? I'm using a very clean external signal, verified on another scope. Not a problem whatsoever. Um, I'll show you that in a second. And as other, do other scopes do it or not? Or is it just the Rigol 1000? But anyway, it's not the external signal, so it's internal uh, to the Rigol DS1000Z series. They're, they're all the same, of course, so any model in the series. Uh, it might have this to some extent. Mine's not that bad. Mads one's really awful. So I'm not sure what's going on here. It's maybe a combination of bad uh, clock uh, jitter of the main reference clock in here, but I think it more has to do with the maybe it's introduced It's a uh, trigger jitter of course So not just the clock, but maybe a combination of that might have a little bit to do with it But or something maybe to do with the trigger hardware and how they're implementing that Possibly in one of the FPGAs or something like that is just causing it to Causing it to muck up and give that jitter, but right on there it's clean, and then every 10 microsecond time period it's clean. And if you actually scrolled it through, you'd be able to, if you were patient enough, you'd be able to see it get progressively worse, and then better, and then worse, and then better. There's some sort of modulation, jitter modulation happening there. And does the venerable old uh, Rigol DS1052E do it? Well, that's at uh, no offset, and look, it looks pretty clean, no problems whatsoever. And if we go out by exactly five microseconds there, nope, no jitter at all. And does the Rigol DS2000 series scope do it? Well, look at that. That's at uh, no offset uh, whatsoever. Beautifully clean. And that's at five microseconds offset. Beautifully clean and sharp again. No problems at all on the DS2000 series. Okay, so we have a potentially very serious trigger jitter issue there, where, and Rigol really need to look into that. So anyway, I, I can't do any, haven't got time to do any more uh, experiments on that, but I just wanted to show you something even potentially a hell of a lot worse that I discovered while I was having a quick play around with this before. Here we go, we've got the same 20 megahertz signal, we've got no delay whatsoever, so it's all beautifully sharp, everyone's hunky-dory, but if we go into the trigger menu, and we go down to settings down here, we're at DC coupling at the moment, and the, all the other scopes have been uh, DC uh, coupled as well for the triggering. What happens if we switch that to AC? Watch this. Crikey, look at that. What's going on? You've got to be shitting me. What is this? massive amount of jitter and you know no it's not the it's not the trigger point there's nothing you know there's nothing weird going on we're gonna set that to midpoint um there you know there's nothing other there's nothing else weird going on there at all there's no filters on right it's just your pure ac coupling and i thought this has got to be a pebcac right it's got to be i'm just doing something incredibly dumb but no i've double checked this is just basic from AC to DC coupling. It goes from perfectly triggered to this massive amount of trigger jitter. What the? And if you think it's just a square wave or something, no, sine wave, frequency. Let's go down to one megahertz, shall we? Here we go. It looks like, okay, but square wave, look at that. We're still getting it. Look at that. And we can even go down to one kilohertz. There we go. We're right down now to where one kilohertz, of course, we're a square wave. So we've got, you know, a rapid rise time still there. But look at that trigger jitter. And there's nothing I can do to get rid of that. Absolutely nothing. It's just, it's inherent in the AC coupling mode of this scope. Unbelievable. That is awful. I can't believe... I, well, I haven't played with this one much, but I, I never saw it, and, well, let's go see 
if our other scopes do it. Here we go, the venerable DS1052E set up, uh, DC coupling, let's switch it to AC. Nope, no problems whatsoever, works a treat. Look at that, perfectly triggered. Okay, the DS2000 series scope, let's go into the trigger menu here, go into settings, AC coupling. Whoa, look at that! Man, that's like potentially worse than the... Oh, Rigor 1000 series, look at that, that is just shocking. And once again, I've got like 50% level set, I just reset the trigger level. All I'm doing is going from AC to DC coupling. That's it, perfectly triggered. Garbage, what the hell is that? And once again, likewise, it'll you'll see it at one kilohertz, uh, for example. So we can go down to one kilohertz and get out a bit, there we go. That's a one kilohertz signal. Look at that trigger jitter. Just due to AC at DC, absolutely perfect. AC, garbage. I can't believe I've never noticed this on the Rigol DS2000. I, I don't believe there's any other reports out there. I, I'm not aware of any, there might be. But AC coupling mode, it basically does not work. Look at the trigger jitter on that. It's ridiculous. And I think we need a couple of more scopes to verify this. This ought to do it. And what about our Agilent 3000X series? We've got DC coupling on at the moment. Let's switch it to AC. <laughs> of course it works. And how does the Agilent go at that uh, offset issue again? Uh, well, let's try it. Okay, we're now five microseconds delayed there. Let's go in. Yep, no problems whatsoever. Exactly the same as... Bingo, we've gone back to zero there. No problems. And what about a GW Instec GDS2304 300 megahertz scope? There's our uh, zero delay signal, no problems whatsoever, it's just beautiful. And five microseconds offset there, beautiful, no problems. And we're DC coupled at the moment, what happens if we go to AC coupled? <laughs> of course it works! And what about our Tektronix MDO 3000 scope? Look at that, nice and steady, rock solid at uh, zero delay. Got ourselves five microseconds delay there. And as you'd expect, works a treat. And trigger coupling, we've got DC at the moment, let's switch to AC. Not a problem! And it still does it, of course, it doesn't matter whether you're positive or negative slope or whether you uh, get it in both directions like that, it's still doing it. It's just unbelievable, what the hell? is going on with this? This is just ridiculous. That one's actually not even going in both. That's not even going in both directions. There we go, center it. No, no, can't even do that. Can't even get the dual slope, the positive and negative edge slope. Oh, what the? Actually, is that another thing wrong with the DS2000? I've turned it back to DC coupling. I've got the uh, uh, dual slope, like both edges here. Uh, triggering and it's it's not doing it. It works fine on the 1000Z apart from the ridiculous amount of trigger uh, Jitter look at that, but what the, oh, is that three problems? Gee, I don't know. I just found that one then I look oh, I'm gonna have a brain aneurysm here. Anyway Rigol has some serious explaining to do with a the uh, that frequency modulated trigger jitter that uh, Mads uh, found and uh, yeah, what the hell is going on there? It doesn't do it on the uh, uh, old uh, 1052E, not a problem at all. It does it on both the 2000 and the one, uh, 1000Z series because they're both new architecture uh, scopes. Maybe there's something inherently wrong with that. But a huge deal is the damn AC coupling. What's going on there? Unbelievable. So yeah, that's all I've got time for. Sorry, I don't have time to actually investigate this. I'm just throwing this out there. This is what I've found. This is what Mads found. And uh, yeah, there's something like going on here. If you, if anyone out there has these uh, Rigol scopes, please uh, confirm what sort of uh, modulated trigger jitter you get with that five microsecond uh, offset. Every, um, a few people are calling it the five microsecond jitter issue. Um, which is, yeah, a reasonable name for it, and the AC coupling. That's just ridiculous. Anyway, Rigo, please look into it. Something's seriously wrong here with these. I mean, these are kick, were 
kick-ass scopes. Well, they still are, apart from this issue. I mean, I was just doing the review on this. I've already uploaded um, an hour and 15-minute review uh, saying how wonderful this thing is, but I haven't done my su second uh, summary video yet, and I hadn't, I hadn't done my performance tests on it either. Uh, whether or not I would have uh, detected that in the performance test, I don't know. Whether or not I lucked out and maybe, you know, tested the AC uh, trigger coupling, I would have... Uh, would have, would have found that, because that sticks out like dog's hind leg. It's ridiculous. Anyway, oh, oh, I've had enough. So, yeah, please, links down below to discuss this. And, uh, yeah, Rygo, I'm sure they'll look into it, and they'll get back to us in due course. They bloody well want to, because I can't recommend this yet until such time as this sticks. Is it a hardware issue? Is it a like a software, uh, like a firmware uh, FPGA uh, trigger issue or something like that? Don't know that they can fix in uh, with a software uh, patch, so I don't know. Anyway, if you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and give these Rigol scopes a thumbs down for this jitter problem. Anyway, catch you next time.